Hello friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Poonam Dua and you know these days we are covering the analysis of recent Odisha MA English entrance exam. This is part three. We have already covered 40 questions. Today we will start from question number 41. Let us proceed to our video now. This is question number 41. The most popular mode of documentation styles in subject under humanities is the correct answer is option A, MLA. MLA, MLA citation style is most frequently used in the humanities, literature, languages, art, etc. The MLA handbook was first published by Modern Language Association in 1951. Please note down the year 1951. This is the important year and a very important question for UGC net aspirants as well. MLA style relies on parenthetical citations, author, page number, for material that is quoted, summarized, or paraphrased in the text of a paper. So, most popular mode of documentation style is MLA, MLA which stands for Modern Language Association. Next question, question number 42. Syntax refers to what? The correct answer here is option D. Systematic arrangement and positioning of words. That is what we call syntax. Question number 43. When you paraphrase an idea, you may. Paraphrase means to put the same idea in your words. So you may use synonyms. You may use any of the disciplinary terminology from the original source. You may write a longer or shorter sentence than the original. So all of the above here applies let us go for question number 44 the english word fig is a morphine a meaningful word this is a meaningful word free from any other explanation it has got its own meaning so morphine next question question number 45 which of the following consonants are fricatives the correct answer here is option b sir and z Fricative and phonetics are consonant sounds such as uh, English for or verb produced by bringing the mouth into position to block the passage of air stream. Try pronouncing for and va, you will see that uh, passage of air stream is being blocked but not making complete closure so that air moving through the mouth generates audible friction kind of sound that is why it is called fricative. In addition to the for and va sound example of fricative in English are sir as in sitter and sir as in zebra and the two thir sounds as well think and this. Think, this, sitter, zebra. So sir and sir here is the correct answer. Next question in the word or af the prefix over means too much. The correct answer option B. Too much of acting. We will call overact. Next question. Question number 47. A natural language that is developed from a pigeon is called option A. Creole. Creole is the second step of the language. Creole is one which is uh, generated from the makeshift language pigeon. When people from different different languages gather with each other, they do not understand any single word of each other's language and they just make a makeshift communication that is called pigeon. But when pigeon starts taking a proper shape, the second stage is called creole. Next question, question number 48. Which of the following statements is true about languages? All languages use essentially the same number of sound. No, this is not true. All native speakers of a language learn the basic rules of grammar in school. There are many people who do not even get a chance to go to school, but they also know the language. See, while different languages may use different phonemes, that is, uh, that is sound system, they all essentially share the same syntax. This is also not true according to me. So I will say the option D is the right answer. Unrelated languages often use different sets of sounds and rules for making sense with them and different different syntax as well. The basic rules of grammar are learned in early childhood, not in school for everyone. 
formal education only standardizes and augments the rules, develops the rules, but we cannot say that everybody uh, learns the rules in school. So option D here will be the correct answer here. Next question, question number 49, which of these aspects enhances the flow of a story? Clear beginning, clear middle and clear end is something which will clearly enhance and develop the flow of a story. Question number 50, dash makes sure a piece of writing is accurate, clear and correct. The correct answer is option C, copy editor. Copy editing makes use of piece of writing is accurate, clear, correct. It is the step that gets a text ready to publish. Next question, question number 51. In producing vowel sounds, there will be no friction and obstruction in mouth. Think of the sounds produced by these alphabets. A, E, I, O, U. If you will produce anything, for example, you are saying a word alphabet. So while you speak A, there will be no friction or no obstruction in mouth. Next question, what is polysemy? Correct answer is option C. It refers to multiplicity of meaning. The coexistence of many possible meanings for a word or phrase is called polysemy. Next question, question number 53. Choose the best paraphrase of the following statement. Let us read the statement. Thoughts and worries can weigh on your mind at night. Writing thoughts on a paper can clear the mind. Read all these statements as per me. Option D is the best one which is giving all the descriptions, all the thoughts that is there in the original statement as well. Writing is a way to ease your mind of thoughts and worries you have throughout the night. Question number 54. Parenthetical referencing is also known as option C. In-text referencing. Parenthetical reference also called in-text citations are references within the text of your paper to source material. Next question, select the element that is not part of critical thinking standards. The correct answer is relativist thinking. What is the extraction? Question number 56. What is the extraction of the meaning of utterance? The correct answer will be semantic. Semantic analysis is used to extract the meaning from the group of sentences. Qualitative research question number 57 is primarily concerned with in-depth exploration of phenomena, in-depth detailed exploration of any kind of idea that is called qualitative research. Next question number 58, from the alternatives given pick the word or phrase that is closest in meaning to the given context. Portent. It appears to many that the U.S. war on terrorism portents trouble in the Gulf. Uh, portents here basically means kind of a foreshadow and boards option D is the perfect word that uh, is a complete synonym of portents or foreshadow. But I am still waiting for the answer key to be released by university. Next question, question number 59. Who organized the Dalits into depressed class association? The correct answer is option A, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar organized the Dalits into depressed class association in 1931, 930 The same year when Dandi March was organized by Mahatma Gandhi. Even this, uh, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar and the last question of this video who was the first president of indian women's association formed in the year 1917 the correct answer here is option b any besin founded in 1917 uh, in madras by margaret e cousins President was any percent option B. Option B here is the 
right answer. So that is it for this part of the video. We have covered now 60 questions. Only 10 questions are left and those 10 questions we will be covering in next part of the video. You may join the online sessions to cover all the topics in detail. The link to get connected to us for admission purpose has been given in description. Thanks a lot for watching. Best of luck for exams and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel.